everyone, my name is Kristen and welcome to the Trusted Tech Team blog. This is where you'll find news, updates, and video tutorials on everything from Office 365 to Remote Desktop, SQL, and Exchange Server. This video is third in a three-step series around the process of setting up a Remote Desktop Server. In our last video, we walked you through the process of installing Remote Desktop CALs, or Client Access Licenses, for your Remote Desktop Server. Today, we'll be focusing on configuring the local group policy, which is the third and final step of remote desktop installation. Once complete, your installation of remote desktop CALs will be ready for use. So let's get started. First off, you'll want to edit the group policy. This can be done by navigating to the Start menu and searching Edit Group Policy. You can also access this by opening the Command Prompt or PowerShell and entering gpedit.msc as shown on the screen. By now, you will see the local group policy editor application on your screen. We'll need to navigate to the first policy we need to set. Using the left-hand navigation panel, we will navigate to the first setting following the path shown on screen. Let's edit the policy titled Set the Remote Desktop Licensing Mode by double-clicking it. Enable this policy by clicking the radio button. This will enable the drop-down to specify the licensing mode. Proceed down and select the option that matches the type of remote desktop CALs you've already installed, user or device. Click OK to save the changes. Now onto the second recommended group policy setting. Contained in the same folder as the first setting, you will see Use the Specified Remote Desktop License Servers. Edit this by double-clicking it. The goal of this setting is to instruct the server where the CALs are installed. Once the setting is enabled, you will have the ability to reference the license server or servers where the CALs are installed. In this example, the CALs are installed on the same server we are currently configuring. Because of this, we will reference the server itself. We have named the server Licensing Server, which you can see input in this example. Alternatively, you are also able to reference the server by local IP. To determine what the local IP of the current server is, you can open the command prompt or PowerShell and enter ipconfig as shown on the screen. The resulting entry is shown next to IPv4 address can also be used in the license servers to use field to reference the current server. Once you've enabled the setting and designated the license server, click OK. Now we will navigate to the third recommended group policy setting. Using the left-hand navigation panel, navigate to the path shown on screen. Edit the policy titled Limit Number of Connections by double-clicking it. Select Enabled, then change the RD maximum connections allowed to 999999. This number will allow unlimited remote connections and will ensure we do not refuse access to the remote desktop server. Click OK to continue. With that, we now have all of the settings configured. To finalize, we will update the server so our changes take effect. Open the command prompt and enter the command gp update space slash force shown on screen and hit enter. Once complete, you'll see a message within the command prompt stating computer policy update has completed successfully. And that's it. Your remote desktop server is now configured and ready for use. Be sure to check out the other videos and guides on our blog. We post new content every week.